My name is Ronke Dosumo. Um, I am a physician by training. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I am a wife and the mom of three amazing adult children. My journey started almost three decades ago as a young physician in my residency program, which was located in an inner city of New, uh, in northern New Jersey. I noticed that there was a scarcity of good quality private pediatric practices. So I decided that I was going to go into practice right out after residency. Well, my program director and all of my attending physicians told me I was crazy. They told me private practice was dead. Back then, about three decades ago, like I said, capitation was, was a new word. HMOs were just taking over the landscape of medicine and things looked really bleak for private practice. But I was young and innocent and idealistic, so I went ahead and I opened my private practice. And unlike how it is now, the patients did come, but they came at $3 a month, $2 a month, but they did come. So I strived and I struggled. I didn't know anything about business, but I survived. And my practice is 25 years old today and still going, but I learned a lot of lessons. And then along the way, I built many more um, business ventures in the retail space, the beauty space, the healthcare space. And what I noticed as a serial entrepreneur was that it was only in my pediatric practice that the value that I brought, the value of my service and the value of my product did not translate into the pricing or my payment. It didn't matter how good I was. They were going to pay me $3 a patient for capitation. In all other businesses, if I brought good value, my prices could go up. So that was something that was unique to pediatric, well, unique to practice of medicine in general, because we are not in the driver's seat. We just take instructions. We do the scut work and we take instructions. But you know what? I loved business. And so I looked everywhere for business education. I took the GMATs and got accepted into business school, one of the top business schools for, as, uh, for the executive business program. It came at a price tag of $100,000 though. I didn't have the money. I wasn't in an employed position where my employer could pay. So I let that dream die. And then one day I woke up and I said, maybe I should go get a job. Maybe then they'll pay for biz school. So I went into corporate America, into one of the top pharmaceutical companies. And I worked there for a few years. I went into management and I learned a few lessons there too. The lessons I learned were that as physicians, we are natural leaders. I learned that as physicians, we have so many skills that we undervalue. We're good at decision making. We are top tier intellectuals. We are so smart. I didn't realize that because all my life I've been among physicians, so I thought everybody was like that. But corporate America made me see that. I also learned that you have to be able to negotiate your way to a better salary, job flexibility, and promotions if you wanted it. So you needed to be able to sell yourself. So the only other thing I didn't like that I knew, but I had forgotten was that I was not a politician and you required a lot of politics to get ahead in corporate America. So I quit and I was out there again, a lonely entrepreneur. I looked for community everywhere. I went to all of these networking meetings, but I found that most of the people I met, they were unserious and uncommitted. They were into multi-level marketing. Just, it was nonsense as far as I was concerned. So I didn't know what to do. I kept looking, but I, I, you know, I still had this passion for business. I am the original Uber. That is the unsolicited business advisor. I advised everyone. If I saw someone, I'd be like, you should start this business because you're good at this. And people just looked at me crazy because they didn't ask for my advice. Anyway, fast forward. This year came and COVID came. And unfortunately I got COVID in March. And then in June, um, I think it was May or June, while I was looking for community, since now I couldn't, the practice wasn't as busy as it could be. I was looking for community and I came across Entree MD Live and it was a one day event and that I, I enrolled for it and it was great. And then quickly I signed up for the business school. I'll tell you what was so great about it. After that MD Live event, the Entree MD Live event, I felt validated because all along I felt like an outsider, like you know, you're a physician, what are you doing? What, you know, and people actually told me this or they looked at me weird and I could read their minds. 
So I enrolled in the Andrea MD Business School and I was so excited because I finally had clarity and I had community. Those are the top two things that I got from the business school. And so I was excited and energized and I was going to launch a lot more business ventures. And then I, one day, on a Sunday, we have this thing we call Mama Sunday in my house. I have three adult children, like I said. The only way I could get them all to come home at the same time is to have an event. So there was this one Sunday a month event called Mama Sunday where all the children had to come home and we had dinner together. So we were sitting at dinner table this Sunday. After dinner, we were having light conversation and suddenly my oldest daughter said, mom, we need to talk to you. And her tone was serious. I was like, hmm, what's going on? So I looked around the table and everybody knew what was going on except me. And I realized this was a pre-planned intervention. And they said, mom, dad told us that you joined a business school. That means you're thinking of more businesses. We don't want you to do any more business. You need to slow down. They were right. This is because I actually was having complications from COVID. So I wasn't doing that well at that time. And so they really wanted me to rest. But I was so frilled up about this thing. I just wasn't going to let it go. So we went, argued back and forth at the dinner table. And then eventually I said, okay, let's come to a compromise. Can I just do one more business? And after this business, I wouldn't do any more businesses. And they agreed after much coaxing. So I start, I, so with the Andrea MD Business School, I actually had, in, I didn't have in mind what business this last business had to be, but I knew it had to be a good one if it was going to be the final one. So the business school gave me clarity and I was able to, to look at my education, my passions, my skills, and all of my experience in entrepreneurship and think about what would be this business that I could do where I could actually have an impact, influence people, and leave a legacy because I knew I wasn't going to be here forever. And Maven CEO was born. At Maven CEO, I helped the professional woman thrive in leadership and in entrepreneurship without sacrificing her personal health or her family commitments. When women work with me, they can make profit, they can have impact, influence, and they can leave a legacy. Andre MD helped me get clarity. It gave me the community around me to be able to start this business. It gave me the skills that I needed. You know, not only do I get to help people, to serve people, I get to have impact. So this is a double duty business and that's how business should be. Business should be your passion, serving other people. One thing that I've learned through this whole process is that, you know, doubt and fear could be your constant companion. If you try to tell them to go away and they won't go, tell them to get in the back seat and come along for the ride and let them watch you succeed. Just don't give them the front row seat, but let them sit in the back and they can cheer you on as you succeed. I want you to imagine what your life could look like if you put together your passions, your skills, your experiences, all of your education into a service, into a product that changed the lives of other people. That would be simply amazing, in my opinion. So I encourage you to not delay. Today is the day to make a decision. If you know any woman, any professional woman who is looking for help in starting her business, encourage her to, to reach out to me. My website is mavenceo.com. You can send me an email at info at mavenceo.com. I am on Facebook and Instagram at Maven CEO. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for listening and I hope you've learned a thing or two.